Today at Chakra News, we have the pleasure and privilege of the presence of a former MD and CEO of Brahmos Aerospace. So we're taking this opportunity to ask him five key questions about the Brahmos, about Op Sindur, about the attack on Fardau, and what all these mean for the future. Sir, thank you for joining us. Good morning to you. Let's begin right away, sir. Please. Sir, Brahmos actually made a name for itself in Op Sindur. You have uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister as almost a brand ambassador for the Brahmos. How do you see the effectiveness of uh, missiles like the Brahmos in real combat? Uh, in fact, uh, not government of India, but uh, Shabazz uh, Sharif, he has uh, our brand ambassador. He has declared that Brahmos has caused a lot of damage to their assets. So, uh, if he says so, so we accept it as a manufacturer of Brahmos. <laughs> and, <laughs> Uh, Brahmos has always been an offensive weapon. Uh, it's having its own uh, 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 position in the in the armory of uh, an aircraft. And uh, in Operation Siddur, I'm sure that uh, we must have launched it from Sukhoi 30, if at all we have used. Okay. So. <laughs> well, we'll keep that information for the people who have it. Yeah. Uh, you know, Right after Op Sindur, it was barely a month and then you see uh, the US attack on Iran. Now, they used the GBU-57, which was used to penetrate uh, these deeply buried complexes. Do you see a future where the Brahmos could perform a similar feat? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Brahmos is a different class of weapon. Uh, it's a missile. Uh, it can cause uh, damage to the airfields or uh, to the command and control center or to oil depot or places like that. Uh, the strategic assets which are on the ground are maybe under the ground, maybe up to 10, 20, 25 meters, but not to uh, the 80 or 100 meters, which uh, this uh, uh, MOA, Massive Ordnance uh, Ammunition, has uh, caused. No, Brahmos is not that kind of weapon. Okay. So, in an age where network centric warfare is there and you're seeing, you know, unified strikes which include drones, they include decoy missiles and they, you, they are the real missiles that are meant to do the damage. Uh, how well do you see the Brahmos performing in such a situation? Oh, Brahmos, uh, it's a supersonic missile. It will be always uh, part of uh, any air attack. Mm. So, uh, as you know that things are changing. Now we have drones, we have drones of various kinds. What we have seen now, uh, they were the small drones. But, uh, and uh, they were, uh, you know, moving very slowly. Uh, soon you will find drones which are moving very fast, very quick. Right. And uh, the numbers also would increase. Now you have seen hundreds. They will become thousands and thousands, tens of thousands. Mm. Because the cost is uh, really not the matter of concern when it mm. comes to drone. Right. So, uh, Brahmos always would be part of such Attack. offensive. Right. So, after Sindur, uh, you know, uh, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif obviously is a fan of your work. Uh, but Pakistan's key concern right now is upgrading their air defense. Uh, they don't want to be found in a situation where Indian missiles can hit them at will. Uh, so, they are going to upgrade, uh, upgrade that. Uh, how is India looking at upgrading our own offensive capabilities? Uh, it, is, it is known. As a scientist, I know that if I have used it, the others have noticed it. So, uh, I will go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. I will change the electronic circuitry. Mm -hmm. uh, I would change the way I am uh, communicating inside the missile. And I will ensure that next time uh, you have a different Brahmos. Outside it will look same, but inside it would be different. You see, this is my common sense. And any scientist who is in India or at any other place would certainly consider and discount for it. So, it doesn't mean that uh, now you know about Brahmos. You don't know about Brahmos. Brahmos is a Brahmastra of India. Well, this Brahmastra has certainly made a name for itself, sir. Yeah. And tactically, it's proven itself, uh, you know, immensely uh, beneficial. But do you see it as more than a tactical weapon? Do you see the Brahmos as a strategic deterrence? Because everyone will know that India has not tens, not hundreds, but thousands of these missiles. Uh, you see, uh, in the missile technology, uh, when we say strategic, 
स्ट्रेटेजिक इज ऑलवेज कनेक्टेड विथ न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स ब्रह्मोस हैज इट्स नॉट हैविंग न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स इट इज ए कंप्लीटली टेक्टिकल मिसाइल एंड इट विल कंटिन्यू टू बी टेक्टिकल एंड इट इज द डिसीशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड यूजर्स टू कीप इट टेक्टिकल सो देर इज नो स्ट्रेटेजिक वर्ड कनेक्टेड और एसोसिएटेड even in a remotest possible way with brahmos and you can hit them hard under the nuclear umbrella uh you see uh, we uh, civilized people never discuss about nuclear things and uh, we pray to god that nobody uses the words nuclear ever on this planet thank you so much for your wise words sir thank you there you go five key questions for the former md and ceo of brahmos aerospace Hope you like that. Thank you.